Today, we're gonna talk about drugs. Are you talking about drugs? No, not those kinds of drugs. The kind you might need when you're traveling. When you're planning your travels, you're concentrating on all the fun stuff that you're gonna do, but occasionally some not so fun stuff happens to us when we're traveling, like upset stomachs or motion sickness, or even some minor cuts and bruises. So today I'm gonna show you how to put together a tiny little first aid kit that is perfect if you are traveling by plane with carry-on luggage only. Hey y'all and welcome. If you're new here, I'm Christy, the Gen X Gypsy, helping you travel better so you can focus on creating unforgettable memories. And one way to travel better is to be prepared. And yes, I was a Girl Scout. About two years ago, when I first started this channel, one of my very first videos was all about how to pack a travel first aid kit. And it has become one of my most consistently viewed videos. The only problem is, aside from the terrible quality because it was one of my first videos, is that it's not a TSA friendly first aid kit. Meaning there are liquid items in there that you would need to put into a liquids bag if you were packing carry-on only. So today I'm gonna show you how to pack a slim down TSA friendly version of a first aid kit that is perfect for carry on. And it will help you with those common ailments you might have while traveling and hopefully avoid needing to visit a foreign pharmacy. Before we get started, if you ever have any travel questions or are curious about something that has to do with travel, please feel free to ask in the comments below and I will try to help answer or maybe one of the amazing members of this community will help answer that question. If you follow me over on Instagram, which you should, you could also DM me over there as well. And if any of you have items that you include in your smaller first aid kit that I don't talk about today, please let us know in the comments. I would really appreciate it. Just to be clear, I am not a medical professional in any form. Everything that I include in this first aid kit has come from my own experience or research. And the main things that I have found that I have needed when traveling both domestically and internationally are things to take care of blisters, cuts, colds, motion sickness, allergic reactions. So we're going to go over all of the items that I pack in this little kit to take care of those things. To start with, blisters. For blisters, I always bring along moleskin. It works great if you put it on the blister after it's formed to keep it from maybe getting worse or possibly even getting infected. I'll bring one or two sheets depending on if I'm going to be hiking a lot or perhaps I've brought along a pair of shoes that I know will give me blisters if I walk in them a ton. But of course, we shouldn't be packing shoes that we know aren't broken in or might give us blisters, right? <laughs> For cuts, I of course bring along a variety of band-aids, but not too many. I probably have like six band-aids in there. And then I'll bring some alcohol prep pads, uh, six of those as well, to clean out whatever cuts or scrapes that I get that I need the band-aids for. Now in my bigger kit, I do include Neosporin and some triple antibiotic creams in there, but those are considered liquids. So, you know, you can't bring those in this little pack. However, if you do have room in your liquids bag, I would encourage you to maybe throw a tiny little tube of Neosporin in there just to have in case. One of the most common ailments that you're gonna run into when you're traveling because of a lot of different issues like the change in air pressure in the plane or dehydration or even just the change in atmosphere that you're going to is getting a headache. So of course I have ibuprofen, Aleve, and some baby aspirin in my kit for me. And I'll let you in on a little secret. When I've maybe had a little too much fun the night before, I have found that the best thing to get over those symptoms is to take two baby aspirin and drink a cup of green tea. For whatever reason, that just is my magic cure that works every time. Now, I don't indulge a lot when I'm traveling, but sometimes it happens. So I always make sure I have those baby aspirin. Unfortunately, stomach issues have started to plague me more and more when I travel these days the joy of getting older. In fact, when I was in Puerto Rico, I had heartburn so bad for three days because it took me that long to find some place where I could buy some Alka-Seltzer. So now I carry 
all the things to cover any stomach issues because having an upset stomach or needing to go find a bathroom every 10 minutes is a really quick way to ruin your vacation. And the same goes for being nauseous. There are many of you lucky folks out there who don't have motion sickness, but for those of us who do, oh. It can quickly turn an amazing excursion into the worst day of your life. So I always carry some all day less drowsy Dramamine with me just in case we end up doing something that makes me a little queasy. And I don't always know ahead of time that that's going to happen. However, if I do know that I'm going to be doing something like a deep sea fishing excursion or I'm going to be going down a curvy road like the Hannah Road in Hawaii. I will take one of these the night before so that it's in my system. I might end up being a little bit sleepy, but at least I'm not going to be throwing up all day. Another vacation ruiner is an allergic reaction. When you're traveling somewhere new and you're exposed to a lot of new things, there's a possibility that your body could have an allergic reaction to a food, a plant, or an insect. So I always carry some Benadryl and Claritin with me just in case. Lastly, sometimes you're just going to end up with a head cold while you're traveling. You can do all the things that you need to do to avoid it, but you might still end up getting the sniffles or a fever or a little bit of a cough, sore throat, all those things. So I do like to bring along some Zycam Chewies to start as soon as I start feeling that little itchy thing in the back of my throat. And then I also bring a few packets of Theraflu to have on hand if the symptoms start to get really bad and I want to nip it in the bud. But if you want to know how you can avoid getting sick when you're traveling, check out this video next. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are amazing. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.